Hello and welcome to Hobbs and Friends. Today we are in Morel's Castle doing the quest Pirate Blues. This is in the House of Thule expansion and it starts here with Nolly Ben the Deccan right here. And if we uh, zoom out, kind of look how you get here, you can uh, you have to go this way, this way through the little hallway here, past the river, through the tunnel up this way through the little water uh, thing here, through the maze, and then wham, bam, you're right here. This is a one-way door. You cannot go back that way. Uh, so let's talk to Nolly Ben, the deckhand. Let's break in viz. All right. Oh, everywhere I look, there's churning water. Everywhere, friend, I am lost. I am trying to get back to my ship. I am a deckhand aboard the Gataeus Clolden pirate ship. I fell into the wormhole when the ship crashed ashore and ended up here. Wherever this is, we were tracking down a mysterious, captivating sound when the accident happened. A sound? What was it? Music, a song, a pleasant sounding noise? I am not sure. But I know Gataeus Gataid is probably fit to tide if the ship hasn't been wrecked. For myself, I am not quite feeling strong enough yet to return through the whirlpool. I don't think I'll make it back through again without drowning. Would you be able to assist Gatias in my stead? I will assist. All right. Uh, that would be very commendable of you, Gatias. Maybe just maybe just a human, but he's got a heart of gold. And he deserve, doesn't deserve to die when we're stranded. All right. So look for the pirate ship. So uh, let's invis up. Go to first person and jump through the whirlpool here. All right. Now we're here in the tide. So we got some scallywags in here uh, that are pretty much everywhere. So we need to find this guy. If we zoom in, he's right up there on the top of the ship. Now this is where it gets kind of tricky. Like it took me a while the first time I came here, but you walk past it like that. And then you can get up into this second area like that and then you go around here uh with invis you can ignore pretty much everything in this ship and then here you go up this way like that and then through there and we're at the top of the ship yay and then we go back this way and there is the captain let's go and hail him i am colden captain of the divine light i gather you met some of my miserable crew we were Charting new ocean lanes, when we were blown off course by a storm, then encountered a strange, lovely noise, soothing, but um, a melodic, melodic, melody. Uh, we tried to investigate its source, but soon ran onto this island. Many of the crew have been gone missing, and have been become insolent and disordered. I'll tell you more, but I need your help. I would have you track down at least three of my mutineers and bring me back their heads. I saw them last standing over the ship's wheel uh, when it came enchanted by the sailor's dark fire. Then they vanish and have that be seen yet. All right, kill three mutinous scallywags. Take the heads of the three mutinous scallywags. All right. So, oh, got a named. I don't know. Like, I'm having some crazy good luck lately. I'm getting names constantly. I was playing this warrior I'm making. I'm getting double loops. You know, it's crazy. I have no idea what's going on. There's no bonus event going on right now either. So I've been having lots of rare mobs. And it's, it's been, it's been crazy. Like, let me take a look at the achievement for this zone here. Hunter. Uh, d -d -d Morals Castle. Like, I'm getting there and I'm not even trying. So, let's see what she dropped. Of course, I can't even re-click it. Um, gold inlaid earring of vengeance. So, it's a caster earring. Nice. We'll go ahead and clicky click that. Let that roll. Alright, so we need some scallywags and uh, let's see if there's any in here. There's a pillager. There's a scallywag. Pillager. I think this one will count. There we go. 
go. <laughs> All right, jeez. I hate. So Look at this. I'm being summoned like, like right where I'm standing. Now I get summoned through the ceiling. Look, look at this. This is this is this mechanic needs to be removed from the game. Until I'm just this is just, like if, you, if the devs are watching this, remove summoned. Like there's no point to it. Leave it on raid mobs, but group mobs do not need the ability to summon at all. There is no reason at all for this. It is it is by far an outdated mechanic that has no place in this game at this point in time. There we go. And all right, none of these guys dropped heads. Let's uh, let's actually do this. Let's where are we at? <laughs> let's click the let's click the wheel. That takes us here, and that's gonna give us a better chance to find this stuff here. Because uh, I don't think they're gonna find a spawn on that boat, but they do spawn here. Some dots on this guy. And there is one mutant in head. Scalawag Marauder. Let's invis up, see if we can just kill the mutinous. Uh we're gonna kill this name though, cause that's that's the way we play. Name mobs are the target. And uh, we get this. I've already killed this one though, so it's not gonna help us. <laughs> but it's kind of funny, right? And luckily, like my boxes, they're back in the guild hall. They will, uh, they will all get uh, get credit for these names that we kill here. Without being here, I just, I did, I couldn't suffer another ten minutes of them getting stuck on two-inch walls. It's just like ridiculous. Can't wait till we get to, <laughs> to <laughs> Empire's a Kunark where it's the first zone is like a giant open zone. You know, you don't have to worry about any of that. You just sit in one spot and kill stuff. The only downside is that tunnels area with the spiders, but we should be fine. And we're, we're not, we don't even need like a healer. So we're doing pretty good right now. I'm, uh, I'm quite happy with the performance of the Shadow Knight class when it comes to uh, getting things done here. And we don't need those. All right. Now we should be able to find another mutinous right around here. We'll see here in a second, but we're sixty-six percent in. We're about to hit one hundred and one uh, soon, so that'll be very nice. Let's uh, cloak shadows. So that's she says she's a sea vamp, but uh, she does not. She's not undead, so. I don't know what that actually means. <laughs> I truly don't. Uh, we're going to go spider Ron Flack here. Get a little extra damage, I believe, is what this one does. Yeah, it lets us proc health on our melee damage. All right. Take the three heads. There we go. Give that one to Hobbs. Bring the heads of the mutinous scallywags back to Colton. There we go. So we'll do that. Now this this is where it gets tricky, but uh, we can uh, we have to go back here. That'll take us back to the beginning, I think, and then we'll just run back. I don't have my uh, I don't have my mage in zone at the moment, uh, but depending on where this takes us, you know, I might, might have to bring her just so I can call myself to make it easier. Oh my gosh. All right. So is this one? Oh, it's over here. Around this corner. All right. To a giant sand pile. Uh, which takes us all the way back here. At uh, the beginning. All right. So that's, that's a little bit further than I thought it would take us, but, uh, too bad, right? Uh, luckily, as a Shadow Knight, we do have instantaneous invis, 
And we do have the ability to uh, do just about everything we want. All right, so let's get through here and I'll kind of, I guess I'll show the whole path. I don't feel like cutting, cutting the video right now. <laughs> so we'll just go through here. We're going to feign death all the junk off. If we get any aggro, I'm not going to deal with it. Oh, this thing's going to summon me, isn't it? All right. Didn't, oh, jeez. All right. Well, we haven't been summoned yet, so I'm going to just keep going. Cloak of Shadows. So we just run through these sewers, past all these guys. And we're going to have a massive, massive train of mobs on us. Hopefully there's no one else here, but who knows. All right, Feign Death, drop all the aggro. Stand up. Jump in, swim, uh, swim up to the uh, door here. Go in here, uh, double check and viz. Uh, turn on the height filter, it makes it the easiest way to do this. And then just run through the maze. I don't have it memorized yet, otherwise I'd drop the map, but it's not too bad. There's just, just this nauseating water effect that, I don't know, gives me a headache looking at it. And then we go down. And then we turn around the corner here. And then there is this guy. This is the quest giver. Drop back down here. And she goes up this way. Back around. Oh my gosh, this is terrible. Uh, gives you the, I don't know what the word is, like, uh, maybe it's like vertigo or something. I don't know what it is, but it feels terrible when uh, it's not, oh my God, I can't even get up there. It's not, you know, positioned correctly, right? All right. So we got the three heads. Let's hand these over to him. One, two and three good i'm not a violent man but i watch these villains push loyal members of my crew overboard into serpent infested waters laughing all the while they won't be laughing anymore now will they i hope the souls of these dead crew something can rest easier now all right so we got that we're gonna have to talk to him again after we kill this Vengeful Marauder. There we go. Are you done? Are you there? there you go. All right. Let's hail him again. You're doing well. Bringing me back the heads of the mutineers. That has a chilling effect on the rest of my crew. I am hoping that soon I'll be able to coax them into joining me so that we may repair the ship and escape this place. Wherever this is, however, before I can think about putting together a skeleton crew, I need to track down the siren that brought us here. She calls herself Mayana. I know she's around here somewhere, I just can't see her. I can hear her song from time to time, and the sooner you deal with her, the sooner I can break the spell she put on my crew. Kill her and bring me back anything she's carrying. All right, kill her and bring back an Adamite tube. All right, so... Uh, obviously we need to go back and click the wheel again. And then right here, there's a mutinous scallywag. Now, I question if I can click something right here to go back. I'm going to try that real quick and see, because if I can just click between there and there, that saves me a lot of time. All right, so this shell... Nope. Rocks. Nope. What about this shell right here? I can't even go over there. There's an invisible wall. All right. So I guess not. <laughs> what, a, what a kick in the dick. All right. So we need to kill this uh, siren. Uh, conveniently, she spawns uh, this direction. And we'll just go down here. So some of these might see invis, like that one can see invis. She's probably going to attack. 
Uh, doesn't look like it. There she is right there. Go ahead and kill her. And yo. Pretty simple. And let's see what else here. I think that's good. All right, she dropped tube that we need. Let's give that to Hobbs and deliver that to the captain. All right, so that means we got to run all the way back. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to run back. Uh, no need for that. I'm going to skip every mob I can along the way and uh, we'll go from there. All right, that was quite a run, but here we go. We got the Atomite tube. We'll go ahead and hand that over to Colden here. Atomite tube, eh? No doubt the magical instrument of some sort. I'll keep this for me for now until somebody can think of a better use for it. In the meantime, I thank you for all that you've done. If you see Nolabine, Nola Bean, tell him that I'm most grateful that he sent you to help. All right, tell, now we need to go back and tell that guy. Uh, that we see him, which means we have to uh, see. Click the uh, two other floor from Maze. Like we have to click the wheel to go to the other place. So I don't know if we can click it to get there, but I'm gonna get back to uh, the main to Nola Bean, and we'll go from there. And we're back at Nola Bean. Let's go and nail him. He's alive and well. I'm so glad. I was afraid when the crew began to get surly, they might lose his life. I shall try to regain my strength and return to my ship through the whirlpool, help repair the ship, and be done with this strange, dreamlike place. All right, so we get 0.3% experience, 158 platinum, 20 motes, and uh, 10 faction. So there we go. We are done with a pirate blues in the uh, morals castle zone thank you very much for watching and please have a fantastic day